Hey guys, this is my little cousin Wait, Elise. Is you actually recording me? Uh huh. And she right is amazing. Elise, can you say Jesus loves you? Jesus loves you. Say it to the camera. Jesus loves you. <laughs> Yo guys, what is good? Um, so I got a comment on my YouTube asking me to kind of explain or give my reaction to Kanye West at Joe Osteen's church service. Um, if you guys haven't seen the video. I would post, I'll probably post it down below. Um, and the Kanye videos have been doing really good for this channel recently. And me just being a super huge Kanye West fan uh, gives me an excuse to talk about him more. So I do want to do some, just a couple more videos on just kind of what I'm seeing from his growth and everything like that. And it's really weird um, because a lot of you guys know me from, from the music that God has given me. And it's like very similar things that Kanye is doing and, and that, he, that he's speaking about, um, what, which I believe like God is speaking through me and just about art and the reformation of the church and creativity and creating a fresh wave of like Christian art that's good. So anyways, me and my brother, I wasn't actually planning on watching the, the Lakewood so service, which is Joe Osteen's church. I wasn't planning on watching it. I wasn't planning really on checking it out. I kind of, always had this taste in my mouth about Joel Osteen, which I don't know, I just, from at least what I've heard, and I'm honestly gonna admit, like I haven't really dig deep into his teachings, but from what I heard, he's not that sound in some things. Anyways, we're not gonna talk about that. I don't really wanna hear the comments about him. I'm here to talk about what God is doing in Kanye and what God is doing in his church, period. Um, and what God is doing in us, in me, so. Kanye West went to the Lakewood service and there was, I think they had the Sunday service, which was worshiping. They had two services. They had the one service, which was worshiping. And then at the be at the end of the morning service, Joel and Kanye have a conversation. And Kanye is talking about a lot of things. He's talking about things that I didn't think he would talk about at a Joel Osteen church. From most people, what they think about Joel Osteen's church is that it's very prosperity gospel centered. They don't really preach on sin. They don't really preach on anything that makes people touchy. And Kanye pretty much kind of goes straight for the guts. Like he's literally, he's talking about, uh, he's talking about how sometimes when we want, we want God, but we want sin also. He talks somewhere in there where it's just like this prof profiting off of sin comparing it to how strip clubs are basically profiting off of of basically sex trafficking and he's talking about he's talking he go even goes to say like yo yes we sin like we are not perfect people but it's the difference between be like sinning and not being perfect and just the analogy he used was literally being a drug dealer in a children's parking lot or something like that and what he was trying to say was that it's the difference between sin and like, you know, it's just sin, you're not perfect. You're trying to get closer to God and just living in sin. And that's not something I think I would have heard at a Joel Osteen church. Um, Kanye West also breaks down just the music industry. He also talks about basically creating music. I think he mentioned that he wanted to create a new, like drop more new music and just really push out through this wave of Christian art and Christian music, which I think it's beautiful. I think it's so needed. I think it's very much needed in this time and in this generation. And, and there was one important thing that he said that I think will go over a lot of people's heads if they don't understand where we are at, where the youth is at, where creativity is at. And Joel Osteen asked this question. He said, Kanye, what's something to, that you would say to some kids that are in your place? Maybe a Kanye West, if you were Kanye, well, you are Kanye West. What would you say to yourself 10 years ago to, to kind of speak? And he said, I wouldn't say nothing to myself. The music is what speaks to these people. And I was just like, bro, oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind because it's so true. Like the way God's using music and the way God's using art is truly impacting the youth and, and impacting this, this next generation. And I think we always had that, but something God is doing, he's taking back the music from Satan, like Satan, 
He even mentioned he has the best producers. Kanye West mentioned he has the best producers, the best uh, fashion designers, the best everything. And like, why does he have that? Like, God, God is the one that created all of these things. Why is Satan the one that's using it? And I think it's just, I think it's a reformation happening. I, it inspired me to create more music. It inspired me to just put more stuff out on the YouTube channel. Just give more Christian content, more Christian art that hopefully one of you guys might be inspired and figure out, oh, how does he color grade his videos or how does he make those Lord's Child hoodies or like all of these things that like, I don't know. There's just something happening. And the way that I think we're really going to hit people or a major way of hitting people, not the only way, of course not, but is through preaching the gospel through art and making beautiful art that showcases Jesus very blatantly. So it was a beautiful thing. Um, he also did his song, God Is, which was not my favorite song at the beginning of the Jesus is King uh, listening when I was listening to it. Um, but now it's slowly becoming one of my favorite songs just to hear how passionate he is, how zealous he is about who God is and loving God. And there's freedom. There's like, there's just so much joy and, and so much fire from a new Christian in that song and that just blesses me to to hear that it refreshes something in me so uh, I'm really I'm really blessed by what God is doing in Kanye West's heart and I think you guys should be too man I think it's really a special thing that we're seeing like this is the first time where an artist of that stature has really submitted their life to Christ and fully given their life to Christ and it's it's kind of weird because the stuff that God is doing with and if those who are watching this channel and it's new. I run a brand and a label called Lord's Child. And what our heart is, is to do free worship nights, to create to, and to put out like Christian content that's not corny. So right now I have some stuff coming out with Chill Hop Music, which is like a huge lo-fi channel. And my stuff has got put on alternative R&B on Spotify. So it's like great Christian music in secular places that is like reaching beyond you know, what the, what the four walls of the church. And I think that that is going to be the way, like, God is really going to move. Like, he's going to move in his church, but it's going to break outside of the church and people are going to get wrecked and get saved. And yeah, so enough of me rambling on. Um, my name is Montel Fish. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you want to have a conversation, let's chat in the comments. Chat with some more people down there. And let me know what you guys are thinking about this whole Kanye West, Joel Osteen. I kind of still want to make the Jesus is King reaction uh, video to like the album. So maybe that'll be the last video of this series. But let me know, guys. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.